Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome to Zenat Kitchen. I hope you're all well. Today, it's not about cooking. It's about the spices. I just want to show you how we make Murshen curry powder. I will just start by showing you all the ingredients. Here I have uh, three tablespoons of turmeric powder, which I have already put in my blender. Three tablespoons full. And I also have four tablespoons of coriander seeds. Three tablespoons of cumin seeds. One tablespoon of mustard seeds. Two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of fennel seed. And I have a big stick of cinnamon, which I am going to reduce. This is a little bit too big. I'll make it a bit small, about one inch long. And once I finish roasting, I have to break it into small pieces, otherwise it might damage my blender. So once you finish, just break it into small pieces before you grind this. I have four cardamom, four clove, a handful of uh, curry leaves, which is about 12 to 15 leaves. This one I will put for 30 seconds only in the microwave, just to remove the moisture. And I have also some dry red chili. That is entirely up to you. If you like chili, you put it, otherwise it's optional. Okay, so after, what I will do, I will have to grind all of this on very, very low fire. Make sure that don't, they don't get burnt and don't let the smoke come out on the, in the pan. Roast it slowly, not more than three minutes. So we will do them one at a time because every, the, every of the spices have different cooking timing. So we'll get all this done and then I'll get back to you. See you later then. Now I'm, going, I'm not going to put all of them together. This one will take longer, so I leave this one first. Just a little bit, just roast them. It has to be on very low heat. I'm now adding the cumin seed. with just a drop of oil, just a little bit of oil. Now it's all done, switch off the gas. Now I'm going to roast and grind it soon and I will show you. Here I have already put my turmeric in here. Three tablespoons full of turmeric. And now the masala is all cooled down. I am just going to grind it in the machine here and then I'll get back to you. Okay, just a little bit. powder so nice I can 
cannot explain to you how nice the smell is. Yeah, this is our homemade curry powder. Better than in the shop. Okay, now all we have to do is to put it in an airtight jar and always use dry clean spoon. Now we have to let this one also cool down a bit from the machine, it is a bit hot. We let it cool down and then we will stock it. Thank you. Here we are my lovely people, all homemade. And uh, this, is, this will last me for a month, it depends on you. And if you think it's too little, just increase the quantity, make it double or triple. Should be all right. Make your masala always a small quantity so it remains the fragrance stays. And uh, as you know, homemade is the best. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram, please, at Zinat Kitchen. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.